Hi, my name is Bibelke and welcome to Diving Dutch Crochet. Today I'm going to show you yet another scarf tutorial and if you want to see all my other scarves then go ahead and check out the playlist on my channel page. So today I want to show you how to crochet this lovely cowl in these beautiful yarnicorn colors. I will show you from the beginning to the end exactly how to do this so you can do this cowl only by following this tutorial. If you prefer to follow a written pattern though, I will leave a link for the written pattern below in the description. But let me show you how to crochet this right now. First a little about the materials. For the yarn, I've used this amazing yarn from We Are Knitters. It's called the Wool. And the color is Yarnicorn. You can see all the other info right here. So you see it's a very, very big yarn we are using for this. I will of course write down in the description below where you can find this yarn out and how much you will need for this. Then I've used a 15 mm crochet hook and some scissors and a big tapestry needle. We begin with a chain so do a slip knot. And then we chain 30. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through 30 times. It's important that it's an even number of chains. So just keep chaining until you have 30. When you have 30 chains, we will now skip the first chain and move on to the second one. So do a single crochet in the second chain. Insert the hook in the second chain and single crochet. Find your next chain and single crochet. Then continue with one single crochet all the way across. Just insert the hook and single crochet. All the way across. When you're all the way across your first row looks like this. Mine is a bit shorter because I'm just doing a little sample, but it looks like this. You will just have a longer row. Now we will chain one and turn. So chain one and turn the work. Now we will work one single crochet in the first stitch. So skip your turning chain and do a single crochet in the first stitch. We will begin each row with a single crochet, no matter what. Now for the next stitch we will do a double crochet, but we will be working underneath the stitch from the previous row. So usually we do a double crochet up here, but now we will work a double crochet underneath the stitch from the previous row. So we will go down all the way down here and grab the stitch. So you yarn over to uh, begin your double crochet. And then you insert the hook underneath the stitch. Then grab the yarn, pull up a loop, and then pull up a loop a bit. Then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two to finish your double crochet. Then you do a regular single crochet in the next stitch. So just insert the hook and single crochet. Then a double crochet underneath the stitch from the previous row. So all the way down here. So just yarn over. Go down and grab the stitch underneath the stitch. And pull up a loop just a bit. Then yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Then a single crochet in the next. And then again a double crochet underneath the stitch from the previous row. So all the way down here, you yarn over, insert the hook and pull up just a bit. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. So you see you have these spikes down here and that's the double crochets. Continue like this all the way across with one single crochet and one double crochet underneath the stitch from the previous row all the way across. And that's row two. And you finish on a single crochet. You finish each row on a single crochet no matter what. Now you chain one and turn. 
Then you skip your turning chain and do a single crochet in the next. And then you just continue with one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. And this is row three. Now we begin row four. First chain one and turn. Remember chain one and turn each time. Now we will just re be repeating row number two. So skip your turning chain, move on to the second one where you will single crochet. Always start with a single crochet, no matter what. Then the next stitch. Do a double crochet underneath the stitch from the previous row. So all the way down here, so just yarn over, all the way down here and grab the stitch. And then you pull up, yarn over, pull through, two, yarn over, pull through, two. Then a regular single crochet in the next. It is so fun crocheting with this very chunky yarn. And then a double crochet underneath the stitch from the previous row. So all the way down here. So just yarn over, go down, grab the stitch. Remember, pull up a loop and finish the double crochet. Okay, so now we have the pattern. You will do one row of these where you do the double crochet, then a row of only single crochet. You will just be repeating these two rows again and again. I did 13 rows in total uh, and I could have done 14 so I will complete the pattern but I didn't have enough for the 14th row and I like uh, the idea of it's a one skein project so I will keep it as it is. So now I will take a good amount of yarn and then I will cut it and then we have this left. I will pull this loop through so we secure the yarn and I will now sew it together. So I fold it and then I will sew it together on the back side. Find my huge tapestry needle and thread it. Yep. And then I will sew it together on the back side of this. Just make a simple seam all the way down. When you're all the way at the bottom, you will now weave in the end. So just run your tapestry needle through some of these stitches. And then all the way back again, of course, just skip the first one so you don't just unravel it. Back through the same tunnel and again through the same tunnel and that's it. So now the yarn is secured. You can cut it, cut this left. And then we will turn it. Oh, this beautiful cowl. It's so nice. And that's it. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.